Violent crime and violent criminals may be on the agenda when state lawmakers go to work next week. News 13's Kim Vias reports a couple of bills that were pre-filed today could have a major impact. With DWI continuing to plague New Mexico, State Representative Bill Rehm, a retired police officer, is trying to make prosecuting offenders easier. One big problem is prosecuting drivers who are under the influence of drugs. People like Ramon Rascon, who killed a little boy after driving high on meth. He claimed while he had meth in his system, he was not impaired. It's uh, very difficult for the prosecutor to go ahead and prosecute these cases because there's no literature to go ahead and say that .08, they're impaired. Jurors didn't buy Rascon's argument and convicted him, but many others get off. This bill now makes the impairment levels on everything from meth and cocaine to heroin and prescription drugs very clear. If you're driving under meth, cocaine, heroin, uh, ecstasy, you will be DWI, period. Also on the table, a bill that would increase the crimes considered a serious violent offenses. A person convicted of crimes like murder, robbery, rape, aggravated battery, assault, and kidnapping must serve 85% of their sentence before they're eligible for parole. With other crimes, you can be out after serving just 50%. That's allowed people like Nathan Dominguez a get out of jail early card. He shot his girlfriend. While she's disfigured, she survived. Because attempted murder is not considered a serious violent offense, he'll be eligible for parole in just 11 years. Under the bill introduced by Dennis Kintai, that changes. The state rep is asking that anyone convicted of an attempt, solicitation, or conspiracy to commit one of those crimes be required to serve 85% too. While both bills still face the scrutiny of the legislative process, both lawmakers say it's time these issues be dealt with. Kim Vias, KRQE News 13. Because this year's session is focused on the budget, it's up to the governor to decide what unrelated bills legislators can consider. Rather, Her office says she has not seen the two bills in this report yet.